let us look at the details of constraint propagation. To do so, we'll take a specific example from computer vision. Here is an example of a 2D image composed of a large number of pixels. The grayness at any one pixel is a depiction of the intensity of light at that pixel. Now, of course, you and I can immediately recognize that this is a cube. But how do we do it, and how can we make a machine do it? Mar decomposed the task of 3D object recognition into several subtasks. Mar said that in the first subtask, the visual system detects edges or lines, as shown here. At this particular point, no surfaces have been detected. At this particular point, no 3D object has been recognized. Just these pixels have been grouped into lines based on the intensities of light in the different pixels. According to Mar, the second subtask of object recognition consists of grouping these lines into surfaces with orientations as indicated here. So now these four lines have been grouped into the surface with an orientation defined by the perpendicular to the surface. And similarly, these four lines and these four lines. In the third and final phase of the object recognition task, according to Mar, surfaces are grouped into a complete 3D object. At this particular point, the visual system recognizes that this is a cube. Mars theory has been very influential in computer vision. It has actually also been influential in AI as a whole. One of the lessons we can take away from Mars theory of computer vision, of object recognition, is that before we get into algorithms for addressing a task, we want to understand how a task gets decomposed into subtasks. Throughout this course, we have emphasized task decomposition repeatedly. As an example, when we were talking about understanding, the big task of understanding got decomposed into a series of small tasks, where surface level cues acted as probes into memory and a frame was retrieved. The slots of the frames generated expectations. Lexical and grammatical analysis led to the identification of objects and predicates that would satisfy those expectations, and the fillers were put in. Problem reduction certainly is a general purpose method for decomposing complex tasks into smaller tasks. This notion of task decomposition is a powerful idea irrespective of what algorithm we use for any of these specific subtasks.